Hello, my name is Josiah Ray, and I'm going to show you how to create a retro look using Adobe After Effects. So here in my project, I've got this footage just of a, of a girl juggling some batons or whatever it is that she's juggling. And we're going to make this look like it's been shot on old film. So the first thing we want to do is change the color. We can very quickly do this using Effect, Color Correction, Tritone. And it automatically creates this kind of washed out brown look. And we're going to blend this with the original just a little bit, so we get some of that color coming through. And I'm going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Brightness and Contrast, and push the contrast up a little bit as well. And that makes it look very nice as far as the color goes. And you can get a much more specific look using, using curves, but this is a very quick way to do this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to roughen up the edges of the frame a little using Effect, Stylize, Roughen Edges. And you almost can't see it in this because the resolution of the shot is so high. So we're going to take the border and we're going to make the border much bigger on this effect. And we're also going to um, bring the edge sharpness down to soften that so it almost vignettes a bit. Not all the way, but enough so that we can, we can still see the crackliness in the border, but it also begins to darken the shot a little bit. And the very last thing we're going to do is we're going to add some noise to the shot. So go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Add Grain. And it pops up this little triangle in the middle so that we can kind of see the, the effect the filter is having without having to render the whole frame. And it's very subtle right now. So we're going to bring the size of this up and already you can see there's a problem. It's set up for color photography noise. And that's not what we want. We kind of want monochromatic. And so if we come underneath color, we can set, set it to be monochromatic. And we can also change the tint color if we want, but I'm going to leave it to white. And so we've brought the size up a bit. And we're going to bring the intensity, play with the intensity so that it's just barely visible. We don't want it to be really distracting. We just want to kind of texture the frame a little bit. So that looks pretty good. Let's zoom back out and set the viewing mode from preview to final output. And it'll take it a moment to render it. Again, this is a very, very intensive grain adding. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit too much. So we'll bring the intensity down a little bit. And you can continue to play with this until you get exactly the look that you're going for. So that was how to create a retro look using Adobe After Effects. I'm Jess Ray.